hello student today we will prove a very important theorem which are very useful to check the uniform convergence of sequence of functions so here is the statement of theorem theorem says that a sequence of functions f and x defined on closed interval ab converges uniformly on closed interval ab if and only if for each given epsilon greater than 0 and for all x belongs to closed interval ab there exists an integer capital n such that mod of f n plus p x minus f n x is strictly less than epsilon for all x n greater than equal to capital N and p is greater than equal to 1. So as we know that the all the theorem which which are related to if and only if condition are very important in real analysis. So first of all we will prove its if part that is we assume that the sequence f and x uniformly converges on close interval a b to the limit function f of x. We assume this and now we have to prove that the inequality first is satisfied. For that, since sequence f and x is uniformly convergence on closed interval a b, so for each given epsilon greater than 0 and for all x belongs to closed interval a b, there exists an integer capital M1 comma M2. There exist two integers M1 comma M2 such that mod of f n x minus f x is strictly less than epsilon by 2 for all n greater than equal to m1 and mod of f n plus p x minus f x is strictly, strictly less than epsilon by 2 for all n greater than equal to capi, uh, small m2 comma p greater than equal to 1. Now let us assume that capital N is an integer which is equal to the maximum of m1 comma m2 then the mod value of f n plus p x minus f n x is less than equal to f n plus p x minus f x plus f n x minus f x by triangle inequality this condition hold and from first and second from this this condition and this condition the value of first mod is less than epsilon by 2 and similarly this is less than 2 epsilon by 2 and their sum is equal to epsilon so our first condition is satisfied now let us suppose that the condition first hold and we have to, to prove that the sequence of function is uniformly convergent. So this condition is hold that means for all x the mod of f n plus p x minus f n x is less than epsilon. So by Cauchy's general principle of convergence f n x converges to a limit say f x for each x belongs to closed interval a b that means the sequence converges point wise to small f because this inequality hold for all x so if we put x is equal to a then it, the inequality is true similarly for b and for all the points which are lies between A and B, then equality first always true. 
so which implies that the sequence of function is pointwise convergent and converges to fx now we will prove that the fnx convergence is uniform for this let epsilon greater than 0 and we choose an integer capital n such that the condition first holds now for fixed n is small n and let p tends to infinity then in first we have f n plus p tends to fx as p tends to infinity and the mod of fx minus fnx is strictly less than epsilon for all n greater than or equal to capital N and for all x belongs to close interval A, which proves that fnx tends to fx uniformly on close interval.